And here we are. This is it. A tag team encounter from Colt Cabana and Sonny Sampson. Dos, you know, these guys, uh, these guys know how to wrestle. They know how to beat people up. And I wouldn't want to be either Sonny Sampson or Colt Cabana right now. Well, I love Minship. My favorite. Especially the scooper riding. Perfect. Look at this. Look at the size. Bobby Joe Marshall right now. Not to mention sexy Sonny Sampson. You know, I, I got to wonder, that, that sexy Sonny Sampson shirt that he's wearing, is, is that for sale at NWAWrestling.com? I believe that, it is. Uh, is that doing a little dance there? What in the world is this? A little shucking and jiving in the center of the ring right now. Well, you know, Bobby Joe Marshall, is uh, he's had a little history here in the National Wrestling Alliance not liking people of color. Uh, oh, and, and come, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, wait a minute. I'm these just are being honest. These I'm are very honest. These are very controversial comments. Be careful, Vanderpile. Well, Bob Trovich has has sanctioned him before, sent him back to Australia once um, because of the things that he was doing and saying over here in America. That's horrible. Uh, so you, you gotta know you gotta think Sonny Sampson, who's familiar with this, uh, isn't gonna be too happy with Bobby Joe Marshall coming into this match. What a team comprised here. Sexy Sonny Sampson and classic Colt Cabana from Chicago, Illinois. Well, you know, I'm very familiar with classic Colt Cabana. I was there. His very first professional wrestling match, uh, they called him Scotty Flash Colton. And, uh, and I've, been a, I've been a fan of Cabana's. I've been a friend of Cabana's for many, many years. So happy to see him rise through the ranks to be one of the best wrestlers in the world today. I just, I just feel sorry for him that he's got a team with somebody like Sonny Sampson. Look at this, a little kung fu action right here. Well, you know, he's got at least seven or eight black belts. I, I'm not sure in what, uh, and I'm not sure where he bought them. I think they were from Macy's. Look at this. Ole, and you hear the fans. Oh, that hot oh. Cuban temper of Ricky Ray is getting the best of Wait a minute, stop. What is this? What the hell is up on the roof? Oh! Oh, you know, the fans may like that one, but I don't think uh, Cabana's going to like what Reyes does to him in return. Well, uh, nonetheless, a couple of deep arm drags there from Colt Cabana. He's got Reyes right where he wants to now with the arm. You're toying with a pit bull there, Cabana. You're going to want to be careful. Ricky Reyes in a world of hurt. Nice tag team continuity we're seeing here between Colt Cabana and sexy Sonny Sampson. You know, these guys are not necessarily regular. Uh, well, obviously, they're never regular tag team partners. This is their first teaming together. But, uh, Boy, you could have fooled me. Look at this, off the road. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my Ka goodness. Cabana with the trip Reyes right into the uh, lower area on Bobby Joe Marshall. Lower at, oh, my goodness. Double face buster right there. Had him high up. Well, you I know, I, I got to give him credit. Cabana and Samson are working well together as a team. However, we can't say the same right now for Reyes and Marshall on the outside of the ring trying to regain their composure here. You know, both of those guys are known for their tempers, both <laughs> both in and out of the ring. Yeah. And uh, and it's just going to be, it's you got to wonder what's going to set them off here. These Those are two, you know, Ricky Reyes was a member, of course, of the Havana Pitbulls. Pitbull is a word that you could really apply to Bobby Joe Marshall as well, though. And I, I got to go. Speaking of Marshall, I want to express uh, my apologies to our fans. Uh, his comments, his beliefs reflect not the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance, or Big Vision Entertainment for that matter. As we, right now, I'd like to just focus on the wrestling match we have here in the ring. As once again, Cole Cabana, and, I, and again, Sexy Sonny Sampson working like a well-oiled machine right here. Wow, nice double axe handle from the second rope. And Ricky Ray is really taking some punishment now. We from the sexy one, sexy well, Sonny Sampson. Well, I want to say a quick thing, though, about, about Bobby Joe Marshall. I think he wants you to be thinking about all of his racist comments. He wants to throw you off his game. He he doesn't want you to, to think about the quality of wrestler that he is because he is an incredible wrestler who can do some amazing things in there. And if you're not thinking about it, he's going to knock you upside the head and get a victory. You may have a point, but come on. You want to talk controversy, you got to be talking about Marshall. This guy's living in the Middle Ages. Irish look here. And sexy Sonny Sampson delivers a nice elbow right to the sternum of the big man, Marshall. Look at this, into the far side. Oh, back body drop. Right, plants him right in the center of the ring. Well, you know, Bobby Joe Marshall last year here in the NWA had a huge feud with Human Tornado. Uh, you know, uh, Iceman Webster Delfini wound up getting involved. Oh. So did uh, several other wrestlers. You know, like I said, Bob Trobich got so upset with Bobby Joe Marshall, the things he was doing, the things he was saying, sent him back to Australia for several months and said, you know what, 
you know, go wrestle there, uh, where, where ironically they love him, which, you know, what does that say about the Australian people? Uh, you, again, but, you can't generalize. You can't generalize, Vanderpile. Well, uh -oh. I can. And, uh, you know, he even he even wound up in a tag team match uh, with uh, where he was teaming with, with uh, Cowboy James Storm against Human Tornado and the one and only Sean X. Pac Waltman. Wow. Well, you know, I got to say now, I mean, the, the comments and the views and the beliefs of Vanderpile don't ex don't reflect the NWA or Big Vision Entertainment because we got a lot of fans of the NWA down in Australia, a lot of great fans down there as thousands are here in Las Vegas watching this spectacular event. You know, there's a big tour plan of Australia later this year. Uh, the national title is going to be on, the, the Australian national title is going to be crowned in an eight-man tournament. Uh, I know I'm heading down there for that. It's going to be, it's going to be something. Yeah, I'm sure the Australian fans are going to welcome you now with open arms. <laughs> As right now, the arm bar applied from Marshall onto Sampson. Right in the center of the ring. Cole Cabana edging so eagerly trying to get that tag he's trying to also get the fans behind him which you know is one of those things that i've just never understood from cabana is why does he care sometimes about those fans it's not about the fans it's about getting in the ring and winning that match well it's like you said oh what a close line it's like you said earlier i mean marshall gets into your head marshall with these racist these horrible comments he does get he plays mind games but the same can work for the fans vanderpile when these fans get behind you it gives you that extra something to get that win, to get that victory, to push you over the top. Well, and I don't think you would ever understand that. Well, you know, I've never had the fans behind me and I've never needed the fans behind me and yet I've always led people to championships everywhere I've gone. So I do think the fans are, over are, are overrated. But look at look at Bobby Joe Marshall and Ricky Reyes working as a tag team here. Now Ricky Reyes is clearly a minority and if Bobby Joe Marshall truly meant all of the things that he said, do you think he'd be out there teaming with uh, the Havana Pitbull? Well, I mean, I, I don't know. There's got to be some sort of, some sort of scheme behind this. Uh, money's got to be paid off or something. I don't know what's going on, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Just, cause, just like I'm gonna get the bottom of what you were doing last time in Las Vegas, Vanderpile. Hey, man. Like I said, like I said, I was scouting. There's nothing wrong with it. I am the greatest manager in the National Wrestling Alliance, and I'm just simply looking for talent. And I'm doing the same thing up here. I'm watching these guys. You think I'm not taking mental notes right now? Well, right now, Sexy Sunny Sampson in a whole heap of trouble as Cole Cabana so desperately wants that tag. But now we were talking about the tag team continuity earlier on from Sampson and Cabana. But right now, it's Marshall and Reyes working like a well-oiled machine. And Cabana, you can see the frustration right there. Well, you know, like I said, I've known Cole Cabana a long time, and you can tell when he's just about to explode. And if he doesn't get himself into this match again real soon, he is, he is about to, uh, likely to go crazy, especially because he lost the last time he was here in Vegas. He wants to get that win, to get that money here in Vegas, because quite frankly, he wants to go hit the casinos. Well, it's Vegas. You're absolutely right. i got to ask you a question, though, Vanderpile. Uh, we saw you jot down notes. I don't know if that was for wrestlers individually, but do any of these two tag teams interest you at all? Well, I gotta be honest, they both interest me because there are four quality athletes there in the ring. You know, they're not gonna be here on this fantastic show here in Las Vegas if they're not amongst the best in the National Wrestling Alliance. And you know, even though the, these guys have never teamed before, both tag teams are showing some great continuity. You know, Sexy Sonny Sampson there is uh, is fighting back again. Finally him. fighting Two back. Two much bigger guys than him. Oh, he's made the tag, and here comes Colt Cabana into the ring. Here's the fresh man right now. And wow, look at Marshall and Reyes are taking a pounding from Colt Cabana. Uh-oh, double Naganager coming up perhaps. He's asking, he's asking, and this is, oh no. He took a little bit too much time right there. You see, this is this is why I need to have a talk with my good buddy Cabana because Whoa! he's just asking the fans too much. An amazing move there. He's able to get out of it, get out of some trouble. Going for the pin. Oh no! Look at that backfiring. Marshall drops the elbow on his own partner. What's oh. this? Oh, setting him up for the schoolboy. Schoolboy trip up from behind. Look at that. They fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. And, and I, I got to admit, among among the other things that I am impre been impressed with in this match, I am seriously impressed with Sexy Sunny Sampson's headband. All four men. All the dosi do right there. All four men in the ring. But it's Samson and Cabana in complete control right now. What is this double team? Oh, and they collide. Going for a roll up here. Both men double count. One, two, three. It's over. 